Hello everybody, welcome to another hardware review, this time we have a mouse, the Corsair Scimitar RGB, an expensive mouse, a very good mouse, a mouse I do not... Let's go into details about the mouse and then I'll let you know what I think of it. It is a very beautiful mouse in all aspects of design now. I've been using this for I think over a month now. Yeah. And I have nothing bad to say about the looks of the mouse. Uh, the lights as you can see can be changed. I have it on a I'm not sure what's the actual name for it, but the one that changed. Um, you can also change the sail boat here uh, color. This is supposed to be orange, but it doesn't really look like orange. But uh, on the other side, I would say the light is quite good. Uh, it is, as you can see, a bit dirty because, as I said, I've been using it for many, many, many hours every day for probably over a month, perhaps two, not sure. And yeah, the mouse buttons. The mouse buttons are probably the best aspect of this mouse. They are the best mouse buttons I have seen in any mouse ever. They are very soft, but not easy to press. They make a beautiful sound. Well, but I'm not really going to... I don't think you can listen to it, hear it. Yeah, it's kind of difficult and they're just easily the best mouse buttons I have ever used, ever, in all my life. Uh, the material here is a soft, kind of soft texture plastic. It is used in many mice, I guess, but um, it, it works very, very good, very good. The scroll wheel is very good as well. Has a very tactile feedback, and uh, it's it's wonderful unless you want to scroll lots of pages in a I don't know Excel document or something. Do they still exist? Don't know. It is not one that you can just set it to turn to change pages one after another. It just it's not for that. This is clearly to be used for games. The two mouse buttons here can also be used for anything you want. I, um, the key button on the left side with a specific um, instrument that is included and I have lost <laughs> uh, can be used to move the whole keypad to the back or front as much as you want. It's really very good and it's quite dirty. Anyway, it's, it's a very good idea to be able to move this. I wish the more mice had it for buttons, but of course that's not possible for obvious reasons. On the right hand side, which many reviews just ignore, pisses me off, is a very ergonomic design here with a very soft, but not too soft, and also very well textured material, which makes it extremely, well not extremely, let's not over, let's not exaggerate. But it is very good to pick this up with your two fingers or even with just your pinky. And you're gonna need it. Uh, this is a superb design choice. I wish more mice had something like this. Uh, overall, really, the only thing that I can talk about right now is the one thing that ruins this mouse for me and this is the keypad and the keypad not as an idea not because it is a keypad but because the texture of this yes even the so called I don't know engraved or embossed or whatever they're called which are a bit rougher than the others all of them are ridiculously slippery Mind you, my fingers are not sweaty. I, I, I don't sweat 
in, in my hands at all when I'm gaming or you know I don't have this issue that I guess many people have yet it is ridiculously slippery it, it, it just it's like um, it's like a, like a keyboard you know a proper plastic keyboard and you take a key and you like the spacebar for example and you move your hand your, your finger on it it's quite slippery right well this is worse and what makes it impossible to use the mouse properly if you are if you want to make sudden moves or to pick it up so you're gonna ask me how do I pick it up well I use the right side of course which is fantastic and on the left side as you can see perhaps my thumb is actually stuck I stick the thumb uh, well I try between the base of the mouse and the lower part of the keypad so I, I, I basically I stick the fat of my finger and try to grab like that this is a stupid decision why make a keypad out of this material it, it makes it completely useless it's this mouse is now better for use in web browsing well actually kind of I'll tell you why in a minute or you know Excel spreadsheets or documents something else than gaming you cannot use this gaming a lot or with precision because it is very slippery now uh, the thing I, uh, I try to say about the web browsing uh, you might have noticed there is no forward and backward key keys as they are in well, most mice unfortunately you don't have them here because they have been replaced by the keypad you can of course thankfully with the software included set anything to any key including forward and backwards and that's what i have done i have changed it uh, number 12 to forwards and number 10 to backwards and again forward and back and you know they, they work but they're not perfect but still that that's a minor thing I, I really don't care about that at all the thing that bothers me the most is the texture here it is very slippery what they should have done is remove the lighting from the keys because let's face it no one is going to watch the numbers <sighs> to look at the numbers and then this stupid plasticky thingy replace it the texture I mean the, the, the cover or this or something at least similar this way you can actually use it now of course the other solution would be to completely remove this have some proper side here with two buttons and have this one uh, rubbery stuff here yes perfect but even if you want to keep the keypad just cover it with this you know what I do now I'll show you what I do I take one of these it's a post-it note uh, not an actual post-it note but anyway something similar I cut it stick it there okay oh by the way I have I, I use only these two buttons everything else is disabled and okay now I'm in a hurry so this doesn't work as, as I do it but anyway to get an idea and I use this paper this stupid paper to hold this this paper has better friction than the keypad so as you can see the mouse could be the best mouse ever gaming mouse anyway it's not 
because of this stupid decision for the texture of the keypad on the left side which completely ruins the mouse I would love to know when they design mice do they build like a prototype do, do, do they do, do they use their brains to think just for one minute how was, how is anyone supposed to use this in this why why take this beautiful mouse why use this awesome craftsmanship and just shove it up the exhaust pipe why I'm giving this mouse in its current condition a 6 out of 10 if the mouse the uh, the keypad on the left side was either replaced or covered with a material a texture similar perhaps to the one on the right side for the pinky and uh, ring finger something that will make it not slippery at all this will be a 10 out of 10 mouse the the, the shape the size the, the the mouse buttons the scroll wheel the, the lights everything about this mouse is very very good but then they stick this freaking keypad the slippery keypad which makes it impossible to enjoy using it impossible why isn't any single one <laughs> single one manufacturer of mice who has the capacity to think that perhaps we should do something about you know the gripping situation how 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 someone who uses this mouse has to be able to actually move it accurately without having his or her fingers slip over the sides I'm still on the lookout for the best mouse out there this one could have been the one but it isn't thank you very much for watching